this is my guitar number 448 it doesn't have a model name it's a one-off this is I hesitate to call it art guitar because that's not really a term I like but I guess that's what it is and it's a fully functional guitar, you can tell, right? We got your humbucker under here, passive piezo under the bridge. There's a large rake on there, and there's also a height adjustment. That's what these two screws in the back are. You can lift it and lower it. Once it's in position, it's in position, right? It is compensated, it is accurate. The neck is a maple neck with a maple fretboard, bird's eye maple fretboard, and the head is cherry scarfed on there. New hip shot open bag locking tuners with the contemporary, I don't know what they call those, industrial um, buttons, I think is what they call them. They actually, I like these. They're nice. They, they're easy to operate. Um, got your dual action truss rod. It works great. But it's not a slab guitar. So everybody asks me, what is this all about? Why, what, what is it? Why do you do this? What is it about? I, I can't answer what is it about. It's an electric guitar. And electric guitars are not very hard to make. It's not an acoustic guitar. That's a different animal. That's what luthiers make. This electric guitar just... This, this is the electric guitar right here. From here to there. This. Out to here. Electric guitar. It's about the neck. I mean, it's the, all guitars. It's about the neck. The neck is, is a guitar. It's a guitar neck there. It's, that's what makes any guitar what it is, is the neck. Everybody fixates on the body. Well, a solid body guitar is just a slab of wood. It's a slab of wood. There's nothing special about it. It could be a petrified potato and it would work just as well. What matters is the neck. And I've said this again and again for years and, I, and it just goes right past people. They, they fixate on the body. Well, this body is made up of several different woods. We have uh, walnut on the top and the back. And in the middle there is this stuff here. This is Douglas fir down here, which is a completely separate piece. These two are married together in a, in a sneaky way that, that is part of the construction. And this is actually kind of hollow. This is redwood, figured redwood with a mahogany frame on it cellulose acetate you got your your uh, typical pot controls master volume master tone i think it's time <clears throat> that we moved on from the 1950s when it comes to guitars people are stuck with telly strats and les pauls fine there's plenty of them out there. You shouldn't feel threatened by something like this. It's okay to push the exploration of the electric, electric guitar further than it has been. And I look at it as a wide open field. There aren't very many people that are doing this. This is, this is my art. These are sculptures to me as much as they are functioning guitars. I hesitate to call them art because art because it has function, right? And that doesn't demean it at all. It's high craft is what it is, and that's fine. As long as it has a function, it's functional. It's not art. So I don't like it when people say, oh, that's art. They throw that out like, you know, just throwing out a compliment. Okay, I get it, but that's not what art is. Art is something that has no other function except to make you think. This has a function. It's a guitar. It's not rock and roll. 
It doesn't have to be. Electric guitars don't have to be about rock and roll. They can be about other things. I don't know what anybody's going to play this for. I can't play it because I don't play guitar. But somebody could enjoy this thing and make all sorts of music out of it. It's comfortable. It plays well. It sounds good. It's a one of a kind. That's all. It's a one of a kind. It's handmade and it's number 448. It's a nice guitar.